Welcome to your daily Lenten devotion, courtesy of the Raised with Jesus podcast, 10 minutes of the day life when Jesus meets yours. Romans chapter 6, verse 12. Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body, so that you obey its evil desires. Romans chapter 6, verse 12. It's been a long day. You didn't sleep very well. The coffee has long since worn off. The work has been exhausting, draining, and curiously boring. And now, soon after lunch, the clock is your enemy. Soon you've lost yourself in the mid-afternoon doldrums as the eyelids get heavy. And then your co-worker peeks in. Hey, hey, somebody brought coffee and donuts. You should go grab some. Hopelessly struggling to stay awake, you snack a giant cup of joe and your favorite donut. Sure enough, a jolt of sugar and caffeine rocket you out of your mid-afternoon lethargy for at least a few minutes. But then regret sets in as the sugar disappears and the caffeine wears off. The post-lunch mood swings have hit again. The coffee and donuts have helped things for a little while. And then the effect wears off. Maybe you know this scene from experience. Lethargy, the desire for a boost, the indulgence, the crash, and the regret. Eerily enough, that cycle is similar to the cycle of sin. Temptation, desire, sin, realization of sin, regret, maybe even self-loathing, or shame. That's the picture of sin in today's verse. Evil desire, the active side of vice impulse, lust, or anxious self-seeking. This picture of sin is roaming around, restlessly looking for the next buzz, the next jolt of a particular chemical, the next indulgence in one's favorite temptation, looking for whatever will help fill the endless craving that eats away at our hearts. And yes, chances are that you know this description of sin all too well. And yes, chances are that you could fill in your own details from the privacy of your own memory bank. But the struggle is not hopeless. The effort is not useless. The temptation is not unbeatable. Do not despair. Why? Because you have been baptized. Only in the resurrection of Christ from the dead, a resurrection which becomes ours through baptism into him, and a resurrection, his resurrection, which has justified us, only in that empty tomb can we find a source of power sufficient to overcome this monster called evil desire. Dear friend, you are not powerless, and not because of yourself, but because of Christ's all-powerful resurrection. The message of Romans chapter 6 is that you can say no to sin, and you can make it stick, because... You have been baptized into the one who has beaten sin, Jesus Christ. We pray. In baptism, we now put Christ on. Our shame is fully covered with all that he once sacrificed and freely for us suffered. For here the flood of his own blood now makes us holy, right, and good before our Heavenly Father. Amen. From Christian Worship Supplement number 736, All Christians Who Have Been Baptized, Verse 4. And there's one final note. If you do find yourself or someone you love caught in an addictive sinful behavior, talk to your pastor. He will listen, sympathize, and encourage you so that through Christ you can break free. It is possible, and there is hope because Christ has risen. When necessary, a further referral to a competent Lutheran counselor will be provided. Just ask about the MAP program, which provides secure video counseling with a WLCFS licensed therapist. That's basically the counseling wing of our synod. Any other questions, just check out the show notes and get in contact with me, and I can help you with that. And finally, tonight, Wednesday evening, we have 6 p.m. Lenten supper and 7 p.m. Lenten worship. God bless your day.